Cassie. Yeah. Cassie. Huge. birth right oh, now. <laughs> Two, one. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing kind of an impromptu makeover for my good friend Cassie. Now she's actually giving birth right around the corner. Her due date was two days ago, believe it or not, but she's doing a home birth and it is her first birth. So they mentioned that it could come later. And with that, I feel like I have time to do her nursery space. So I was like, Cassie, can I redo your nursery? Like just for like two days, three days, a quick nursery makeover because I've never actually done a nursery makeover on the channel other than the Sonza family one, which was kind of inside of a bigger video that had six makeovers in one. So I figured we are going to make over Cassie's nursery for her baby that is actually currently genderless. We do not know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. So with this nursery, we have to make sure that it stays rental friendly and also has to be gender neutral. So I want to keep those in mind. I honestly kind of love having design parameters sometimes, so these two are pretty good. And the room is actually really cute itself. I want to give you guys a little bit of a look. So far, there's only this dresser in here, which they actually had from their previous home, but the room itself is actually painted this kind of taupey color with this white trim, and it's a pretty small room. I would say it's a 10 by 10 exact square. A window. Justin's hiding in the corner. Oh, <laughs> look at your outfit glasses. And corner. You looked like Willy Wonka when I turned yeah, the like chair. candy <laughs> vibes. <laughs> the room's smaller, but it's perfect for a nursery. It's like a perfect size. We actually brought this rug, which this rug is from the Sons of Family makeover, so perfect. Oh my gosh, Justin, kind of sit. Pretend like you're a baby. Like, oh, isn't I'm that so comfy for a baby? Yeah. So Cassie and Eldon already had this dresser before, so we want to kind of keep use of it and then maybe do like some changing situation on top, like changing table vibes. I don't know, never had a kid, so. So we have our crib components in the corner. I actually found all of this on an offer up listing for $240 and this is a West Elm crib and it came with a new mattress. It came with like a mattress wrapper for it. Basically the lady said that she had got this for her nursery and then she had her kid staying in her room and then he completely outgrew it by the time he went back to the room. So she basically sold this as almost brand new. It has this great wooden base to it as well. So we are gonna start assembling this. Need a little Allen key for that crib. So we're gonna go to Target, and I also wanna see if Target has some cute stuff. I've never got to look at their selection for like baby items, and I've always wanted to, so today's the opportunity to do so. Wow, look at this Target's arch. That's a nice arch. Wait, that is kinda cute. I didn't even see those until you lifted them up. I was joking about them, but they are. Wait, really can we have a boy and a girl doll like these two? Yeah. This is Cassie, and this is Eldon when he was blonde. from Target with the little Allen wrench and now we can tighten up the crib and put it in position. I think my the new size of mattress I want for my room is baby mattress size. <laughs> Before heading over to Cassie's today, I got a bunch of felt out from the drawer. Ooh, this just almost fell off. And I also got a little template online. I actually got this on Etsy. I just printed a template. I'll link it below for you guys if you're curious. We're gonna use the felt, some embroidery floss, and a needle to essentially create some kind of felted woodland animals that I'm going to then turn into a little mobile above the crib, which I'm excited about. I thought whilst creating these, since it's pretty straightforward, I could talk about today's video sponsor, which which is better help. And as many of you guys know, I am someone that has struggled quite a bit in my life when it comes to anxiety and depression. I went through a whole spiral, but better help was a service and app that I used that I absolutely loved and made it so easy to actually get quality therapy because I was the kind of person that just would put it off and put it off and never actually show up or go in anywhere. I just needed the convenience of it being in front of me on my phone. And I wanted to include this in today's video because there might be a mom out there or someone who knows a mom who might be going 
going through a little bit of postpartum depression who could use a service such as BetterHelp. And it's not only for people struggling with anxiety or depression, it could be something even interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving a goal that BetterHelp can help you out with. Starting therapy can definitely be hard and finding the right therapist for you can also be a bit of a challenge, but with over 30,000 therapists, BetterHelp has a wide range of therapists and you can fill out a questionnaire to get matched up with one, in most cases within 48 hours or less. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier and happier life. If you think you're somebody that might benefit from therapy, definitely consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description box below or visit betterhelp.com slash lonefox and by clicking that link you can actually get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp, so definitely take advantage. Here are two of our little animals. Well, I guess the mushroom's not an animal, but look how cute the fox looks. I still have to finish up the raccoon and the bunny, but those are gonna finish off our little mobile, and I think they're so cute. Oh, it's a little baby. <laughs> I just got over to Cassie's for another day of installing the nursery. And look what we have here. This incredible bookcase. I've always wanted to actually see this in person. This is the Isabel bookcase from Urban Outfitters. And I found this on Marketplace yesterday and the guy actually said that the price included delivery. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this bookcase. It's gonna be like such a great piece. They could have this for years and years. I feel like this is the perfect piece for a child's room. But I do wanna give it a bit of a paint job because the white is just how it always comes and I feel like I've always seen the Isabel bookcase look like this and the paint color I chose is called Mellowed Ivory from Benjamin Moore I got this in the advanced satin finish and then I got a little ruler set two brushes as well because Marie and I are going to be painting this You can see the current dresser here, and I actually picked up some new knobs right here, which we're going to swap out on the dresser. They're kind of like this little ceramic crackle flower knob, and I got enough to go on the dresser and then two more to go on the closet doors. Hi, it has been probably about a week since I last talked to you guys or have been in this nursery because Cassie actually gave birth the day after I was working on the space last. So they needed about a week or so to get situated and everything. And they weren't gonna be using the nursery anyways because the baby was just gonna be in their room and such. And I just met the baby so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, we have to tie up this nursery today. I'm very, very excited about this because everything's starting to come together. We have the bookshelf over here, which is looking very like minty on camera. It's more of like a yellow color in person, which I really love. The nursery was going to be gender neutral, if you remember. That was kind of the basis and premise of the makeover because they didn't know what gender baby they were going to have. But now we do know it is a boy. So I'm going to kind of inject a couple of masculine elements into the space. Because as you guys know, I kind of have more of a masculine and design style. For example, this kind of fun ship art made from matchsticks, but I thought it was like such a cool play on kind of like a childish vibe. Like I can see this painted in like pretty colors for a child's room, but this is more of like a lone fox edition, you know? Got some fabric from the fabric store because we are actually gonna be making curtains for this space. We mounted a rod last week and we got this fabric, so I'm gonna share it with you. Wasn't able to check the fabric color in here before, so hopefully this looks good. From what I can see, it's actually really pretty. This was also kind of a choice that I made when the nursery was gonna be more gender neutral, but it works so well with the color palette. curtain 
panel. So I just purchased the fabric from the fabric store and per panel I do about three yards. I might add one yard after, like for the total amount of panels just for any overage. And all I do is I just sew a hem onto one side and then I clip it up just like this using some curtain rings. Then at the bottom of that, when it's literally hanging from the curtain rings, I'll just cut off a little bit extra. This is where that extra yard comes in handy or you can get an extra half yard or something just so you have a little bit of extra to work with. I bring my sewing machine over or I'll just take it right off those curtain rings and sew up that bottom hem. I normally will just leave the salvage edge on either side. You can sew it if you wanted to, but the salvage edge always, I think it's kind of a cute touch. It has a little bit of a frayed detail to it. So I added on the second panel here, as you could see, I just brought the sewing machine over, put it on top of this little ottoman and sewed the hem on the bottom there quickly. And this was just super simple and easy. I was able to create custom curtains that match the style I wanted. I just couldn't find anything in stores that I really loved. And this was only about a hundred dollars for two panels. I also decided to use some of my extra fabric to create almost a little bed skirt because you could see kind of the mechanism on the inside that held up the bed. So I created a little bed skirt with some extra fabric and I just cut it and put it under the mattress. The curtains are hung and they look so good. And then over on this wall, you guys saw that we have our dresser. I also added a lamp. Now I found the lampshade, which is so cute at the flea market for like 15 bucks and a little glass base at Target. And so this is gonna be the little lamp over here. It's a little... They have this little set of boots that I'm going to just put on top of here. I actually found this at an estate sale. It's made from matchsticks, if you could see. The entire piece is made from matchsticks. And my last little finishing touch, I'm gonna add these little canisters, which I guess you could put whatever baby changing items you need in here. But of course the drawers are for that. So they plan on putting like the diapers and everything in the drawers. These are just kind of like canisters that I might just pop on top. So imagine we would just have like kind of the changing table addition here. So once that comes, they could pop it on top of the dresser. I've had this mirror for years. It might be my first ever home purchase I think I ever made. It was from Anthropology. It was $98, but I remember getting it for like $30 on sale and thinking that I had gotten the best score of my entire life. I had this up in so many apartments and houses, so I think this could be a really cute little addition. Kind of adds to the sailor. It feels kind of like a porthole almost. Um, so I'm gonna hang this here. <gasps> cute, I love that. I might have picked up a ottoman while I was at Target. Now, I know Cassie and Eldon actually have like a little glider that they have in their room that they've been using and they're gonna transfer it into here whenever they want to do so, but it will just give like an area if you do need to sit or set something down and it's really lightweight, movable, it's padded as well, so it's not gonna be like too intense. And I thought I can just kind of live over on the side of the crib. So I recently shared that I came out with my new collection of artwork with Desenio and I had to put the beagle print in here. I mean, how perfect is this for a nursery? I really wanted to make a piece that could fit in every room. And this was kind of like the nursery child's room print that I did. There are definitely other ones that could fit in a nursery space, but I loved the colors of this. It goes with our palette and I'm going to just put it right on the wall here because it really is like the perfect space next to the curtains that we added. I'm about to add one of the cutest elements to this room and Cassie and Eldon actually got this little, well, it's actually kind of big, this neon sign made that says Chevy, which is the name of their baby. And I was playing around with it and how perfect does it fit up here? Like, are you kidding? Like, how perfect is that? So cute. It looks so good. For the bookshelf over here, which I ended up painting this kind of soft yellowy color, which I love with the wall color and just everything in this room. It's so pretty. So I want to add a lamp to this one here. And I have this little wooden riser that I brought. So I thought we can kind of give the lamp a little boost. I picked this up at Target on the way just because we needed a quick and affordable lamp. And the great thing, about this bookshelf is it actually has holes in the back and you can string the cords through um, and then just have it go right out. So I thought I would add some of the books up into the top section and then maybe a few more over on this side. Leaned French Bulldog up here. Got these at Target too, I thought they were cute. Just to add some styling, had to get this box, of course. And their plant, right in the center of them. And then this little scallopy woven tray, just kind of off to the side, or maybe I'll leave it open actually. Eldon and Cassie have all these little cute Nikes, so I'm going to pop them in this little shelf down here, which is like the perfect little shoe shelf. 
I've been excited about this one since the start of the video. On our first Target run, we found this little basket. It goes like this, and it's actually from the kids section. It's from like Pillow Fort. But I thought, what if we made a little mobile that went over the crib and attached the ceiling, and then we hung some things from this, and this was kind of like the base of it. So we actually ended up creating these little felt animals. There's a fox. This one is a little mushroom this one's the cutest honestly the raccoon look how good that is and these are just gonna hang from our little mobile so i'm going to attach these and it's really lightweight i mean this is like a very as you guys can see <laughs> simple basket We are now bringing in something that I think is extremely helpful, and I know many moms rave about this, many parents do. This is a Snoo Smart Sleeper by Happiest Baby. And if you've never heard of the Snoo before, it is a responsive bassinet that uses white noise and motion to boost baby sleep and calm down crying. I'm going to link this below. They kindly sent this over for Cassie for the nursery. It's actually been about a month since this video has been filmed, and she said that the Snoo is probably one of the best things that she could have ever gotten. Look what came five minutes before the reveal. Literally five minutes before the little topper came. So perfect. We can reveal it with everything. The room's looking so good and I'm about to go grab Cassie and Elden. I have not done a reveal in so long. I'm genuinely nervous right now, but I'm also very excited because this room looks so cute. So I'm gonna call for Cassie. Eyes are closed. And then I'll just open the door like this. And I guess you guys can just like open them now. Oh my gosh, ready? Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, yeah. okay Three, oh. two, one. Oh my gosh! Do you oh know what my is? gosh! Wow, I didn't oh expect gosh. this at all! <laughs> Oh, so cute. Oh. And then here's your guys' dresser from before wow. with your little changing area on it. Oh, that's so and cute. And then this was made by a prisoner. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's like, it's actually all made from matchsticks. Wow. Which is kind of cool, but I thought it was like a cool, kind of like masculine touch. Wait, literally? Yeah, it's all made from like real oh matchsticks. Oh that's crazy. Um, Ooh, it smells like fresh paint in here Which too. is so cool. I love. And How cute. <laughs> Do you like it? I'm obsessed. And then, oh my gosh, Maui <laughs> and Koa are obsessed with the rug in here. And isn't it so good, the rug? It's so comfy. Yeah. It's from Drew was okay I want something very squishy on our feet because I know this is gonna be like our new hangout spot yeah but everything else you got full control <laughs> like, literally do anything you want and this is like well I wanted to keep it like neutral because at the at the start it was like gender neutral yeah and then today I added like a couple more like the green additions and just like a couple like this it too so I wasn't gonna good. add this if it was like gender neutral you know Dude, and then we I'm got obsessed. that bookcase that you wanted this looks so good <laughs> from Urban and I love the I think the color is so yeah. cute because I was gonna do the green but then I was like I feel like yellow is so gender neutral too yeah. that I could be like and it just works, so I well, feel like it's so cute. Because did you tell them that when we started the project, we still didn't know baby's gender? Yeah. So then uh, he was born and we found out. So yeah. I think 
Drew added like touches. Yeah, just of, a few like, of a them. A little more. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is still can be a girl. That's from my collection, from oh, my yeah. uh, decennial print collection. How cute! Isn't that so cute? It's a it mommy. Goes so well. <laughs> yeah. Dude, everything looks so good. Like you guys really did that. Thank you. I know so you're like much. really like clean too, like yeah. clean and like simple. Simple. Yeah. So I wanted to keep it like clean and yeah. simple, but still like a little lone boxy. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, really this is good. like perfect, and it goes with already the wall. I know. The, color. That's why when you were like, I don't really want to paint the walls. I was like, no, the wall color is so pretty. It looks so yeah. good. Everything, everything just blends right in. Yeah. I know. It I really love does. it. And then we made these with this little mobile, and we oh. sewed all these little. You made animals. those? Yeah. Wow, this is so cute. Isn't it cute? Yeah. It's giving. It's giving Lone Fox. Um. Oh, it was gonna be called. What was I gonna call it? Like. Little Fox. Little Fox. Little Fox. <laughs> yeah. Oh I was. I want to have like a kids line one day and yeah. call it Little Fox. Pottery Barn <laughs> Kids is yeah, shaking right now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at these little mummies. Do you like your room? Uh, it's their room too. They're gonna move into. I know uh, they can. <laughs> oh, I love this rug. And then it we took the curtain so... fabric and did a little bed skirt oh, wow. here, so it kind of coordinated a little bit. DIY the house that mm -hmm. boots, mama. So we just turned on the neon <laughs> sign and we, it lit up we the all whole had an room. explosion of reaction. It looks so good. <laughs> This could be on like all night too. I know, yeah. Instead of using the lamps. Yeah, if you, more, to, like, if you want to, if you want to use that's them. That's yeah. really bright, actually. I know, and <laughs> I, I think that maybe some of them like connect up to the thing. Like, oh maybe, yeah, I think we'll this, be able to do side. that. Yeah. Yeah, that side. Yeah.